Welcome back to the Death Row and Executions channel. I'm Paco Rivera. You can also follow me on Facebook for updates and more Death Row news. There will be a link to my Facebook in the description below. Thomas Eugene Creech was born in the year 1950. At age 73, he is currently the oldest inmate on death row in the state of Idaho. About the middle of October of this year, Idaho issued a death warrant for Creech, scheduling his execution for November the 8th, meaning Creech learned that he has just a few weeks left to live. Thomas Creech was arrested on November the 8th, 1974, when he turned 24 years old and has been incarcerated ever since. As it turns out, he is set to be executed on the anniversary of the day that he was arrested, 49 years ago. In the year 1969, when Creech was 19 years old, he was convicted of unarmed robbery and got paroled two years later in 1971. In the year 1973, he married a 17-year-old girl named Thomasine White of Boise, Idaho. Thomasine allegedly participated with Creech in a murder, but they were never charged. Thomasine was later committed to a psychiatric facility in the state of Oregon, and while there, it is reported that she committed suicide. About a year later, on November 6, 1974, Creech and his now 17-year-old girlfriend, Carol Spaulding, were hitchhiking into Idaho. Two men that worked as painters, 34-year-old Edward Thomas Arnold and 40-year-old John Wayne Bradford, picked them up in a 1956 Buick Century. Thomas Creech had a rifle with him. Once reaching an area off Highway 55 in Valley County near Donnelly, Idaho, Creech shot and killed both Arnold and Bradford. He then buried the bodies in a shallow grave near the highway and later abandoned the car nearby and fled. Creech later became friends with a man named Gene Hilby. He gave Hilby the rifle and asked him to get rid of it without telling him why. The 56th Buick Century and the two men's bodies were found on the following day. As it turns out, two days after the murders, the state of Oregon notified Idaho officials that a man named Thomas Creech was a suspect in two murders in Oregon and had made death threats against the newly elected senator of the state of Colorado and was possibly headed their way into Idaho. A police officer in Glens Ferry, Idaho, spotted the wanted fugitive on the run and arrested him along with his girlfriend, Carol. At some point while being held, police in Idaho linked Thomas Creech and his girlfriend, Carol Spaulding, to the murders of the two men in the Buick Century, and they were charged with murder. Thomas Creech was ultimately convicted and sentenced in 1976 to death by hanging. Carol Spaulding's involvement is not clear. In one report, it shows that she pleaded guilty to an accessory charge, but that same report also states that she was not charged with any crime. It appears Oregon did not pursue charges on murders in that state since Creech was now sentenced to death, and they were not able to prove the death threat of a senator, so that was dropped as well. Two years later, Creech's lawyers filed an appeal that was successful and his sentence was commuted to life in prison. While incarcerated at the Idaho State Penitentiary on May 13, 1981, he attacked and killed a 22-year-old inmate named David Jensen, who was serving a brief stint for car theft. Thomas Creech would later say that Jensen had attacked him first by swinging a sock filled with batteries and that he was able to wrestle the sock away from Jensen and then he used it to kill the inmate. Jensen suffered blunt force trauma to the head as he was killed by a sock stuffed with batteries. Creech was tried in court for that crime. He was found guilty and sentenced to death again and sent back back to death row again, where he has remained to this day as the longest serving death row inmate in the state of Idaho.
Police later learned about the man Creech had given the rifle to, and he was also arrested and charged with hindering an investigation, but was released on parole soon afterwards. Over the years, Thomas Creech has confessed to killing at least 42 people in at least six different states. He said that he'd killed five members of a rival motorcycle gang in Ohio for satanic cult worship rituals, he had said, while he was part of Hell's Angels and the Church of Satan. Authorities have strong suspicion and believe Creech was directly involved in at least seven murders, aside from the three in Idaho. But once again, charges were not pursued. Officials can't corroborate the total of murders Creech is saying that he has killed, more than 42. But it is likely that he can be categorized as a full-fledged serial killer. Idaho hasn't executed anyone since the year 2012, 10 years ago. Idaho has been experiencing difficulty in recent years obtaining the drugs necessary to carry out a death by lethal injection as pharmaceutical companies, mostly based in Canada, have refused to supply them for that purpose. Because of that, Idaho has proposed using a firing squad or death by gas as options. In this case, however, Idaho announced that they now have the drugs and chemicals needed for the execution of Thomas Creech. Please remember to subscribe for more death row and upcoming execution stories. You can also follow me on Facebook for updates and more death row news. There will be a link to my Facebook in the description below. I'm Paco Rivera. Bye for now.